Okay, hello. My name is Amy Tennant, and I'm just going to make a couple of videos about how to use FamilySearch.org, in particular, how to clean up your Family Search tree. So, um, <clears throat> this video in particular is on merging duplicates, kind of cleaning up the database and so forth. So, we're going to open up the internet to FamilySearch.org, and this is the new page look. Some of you have this new page look and some of you don't, but pretty soon we all will. And we're going to go to Family Tree and look at our tree. Um, I went ahead and looked beforehand about looking for some people that might have duplicates. So I found someone. So I'm just going to go up through here and locate that family that I know has duplicates and needs some work. So I'm going to go over here to Mariah Thunderberg and her parents. Okay. So first we're going to do George. So I would click on George, and you can click on any name, and go to their person page. This is the person page. By clicking here, it'll shoot us right over there. And we're going to scroll down oops I scrolled too far <clears throat> here to possible duplicates click on possible duplicates and in this case it says no results are found now generally speaking this is accurate if they say that there's no duplicates then there aren't any usually there are some exceptions to this rule um, which maybe we'll come across but in the meantime let's go back and check Margaret his wife click on her name click on the word person this is now her person page we scroll down possible duplicates aha we have found a possible duplicate so notice this is our person Margaret Elizabeth Leffel who was born on 14 November 1912 in Springfield Clark Ohio here are her parents her spouse and then this other record that was created where her spouse was George A. Funderburg but only the birth information was recorded so this is likely the same person but we need to review so we're gonna review this merge all right your person is typically going to be here on the left and the other person that you're considering merging with the person on the left is here on the right so we have the option to go through if the name was more accurate in this record we would click replace if it was completely wrong we would click reject if it is neither uh, better than nor wrong we're just gonna leave it so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna leave it um, birth about 1813 <clears throat> that is not a better date than I have it's not a better place than I have but it's not necessarily wrong because she was born about 1813 so I'm just going to also skip over that keep scrolling down and I notice that this George A. Funderburg and this George A. Funderburg have the same ID numbers that means they're the same person so again no better information is given it's just on there now um, so I'm just gonna leave that one now here we have this is this is interesting here we have Joseph Orlando on this side but this one is Joseph O. Funderburg notice these two ID numbers are different because I want to merge her and also eventually I will need to merge Joseph I can put them kinda of all together and do this a lot easier so I'm going to add Joseph O to my original person over here scroll down the same is true with Maria her actual name was Mariah they've put her in there twice so I'm gonna add her over here because I'm going to need to merge them later 
every single person that is in there twice has to be merged. Again with Catherine, we're going to add her over. And scroll down and continue the merge. It says, why do you feel this is correct? Margaret was entered without her um, maiden name. And finish the merge. And your reason can be more detailed than that if you'd like. Okay, now, in Margaret, so person page, if we scroll down, we see that, here's George, here's Margaret, look, there's two Joseph O. Funderburgs. Choose the one that has the most information. Go to his person page and scroll down to the bottom click on possible duplicates. We already know one is in there. And there it is, Joseph O. Funderburg. Review this merge. Notice our guy with more information is on the left. This new entry is on the right. We neither replace nor reject any of those three items. We scroll down. Make sure these are the same parents and they are so we leave them and we simply merge so we didn't add or or reject anything we're just moving this fellow this same Joseph over to this more uh, accurate file that's the way you can can figure that out um, we might say that both Joseph Orlando Funderburg and Joseph O. Funderburg. Notice the Funderburgs are spelled differently. Are the same person. And that's probably how he got in there twice to begin with. Or one of the reasons he got in there twice. Because the name was spelled slightly different. Okay, now we're at Joseph's page. We had been at his mother's page, which was over here, Margaret. So um, Joseph was here. Now there's only one of him. Now there's Maria or Mariah. Mariah is actually the right name. And this record has most more of the information. So we're going to click on her. Go to her person page. Scroll down. Click possible duplicates. There she is. Again, we will likely not replace or reject any information. Double check parents. Yes, it is correct. Continue the merge. Mariah. Elizabeth Funderburg and Maria E. Funderburg are the same person. Okay, now while we're at Maria's page, you'll notice that there are some data problems showing up. And um, this is going to be real common. It's going to happen more and more frequently in your trees. You're going to start noticing this because there's been some additions and changes to the system that have made now these uh, warnings show up. And so in this case, it says it's missing the standardized birthplace. That means that they don't like how this Clark County, Ohio is written. They want it to be written in a standardized format. So by clicking on that, you can click Edit and go in and change that. It's still, I mean, it's still the same. She was born in Clark County, Ohio. They just want it to say Clark, Ohio, United States, and you have to choose this. And until this is green, it's not in the standardized format. So um, both the date needs to be in a standardized format and the location. Click save. And now 
that goes away. Let's scroll down and now take a look at these two Catherines. This is the Catherine that we um, have most of the information for, so we click on her. We scroll down to possible duplicates. And here's one. It's a possibility. And if there were more duplicates, you would just continue this process until there aren't any more. We're going to neither reject nor replace anything here. Click Continue Merge. It's saying um, that you have not replaced or rejected any information. That's interesting. They didn't give me that option the last time, or this little message. But I indeed want to merge them, and I would say These names are actually spelled exactly the same. I might have put their birth dates in there, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. So we're just merging and cleaning up. Let's check Willie. William Willie. Funderburg, just in case, even though I don't see that there were two in there for him. Let's double check and see if he has any possible duplicates. He might be in there with a different name. Nope, no duplicates. Okay, now while we're here, let's go back to Catherine. Catherine Funderburg. Because um, I noticed something about Catherine. She, um,. How old? Let's see. Wow, she was only a teenager when she died. Sad. Um, occasionally you will run into a situation where you'll scroll down and you'll see that there's no spouse. Um, in this case she likely didn't have a spouse because she died young. Um, but if there was no spouse and you thought that there should be, um, instead of clicking add or find a spouse, you would open up a new tab and go to familysearch.org and look for a record, like a marriage record, and then um, add that person or find that person via this page. And that's in another video, and we'll talk more about that next time, but this has been the video about duplicates and also um, cleaning up those standardized birth places and birth locations, death places and death locations. So hopefully this was helpful and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.